Gonna be in the cut at my niece's birthday party like, Baby, I just don't get it. Do you enjoy being hurt? <laughs> I know you smell the perfume that make up on the shirt. You don't believe the stories. You say that they are all lies. It's bad as you are, bad. You stick around. And I just don't know why shit crazy. If I was a man, baby, you. <laughs> Gotta put the lips up to get the ooh. <laughs> Wouldn't worry about what I do. Some real shit. I'll be coming home back to you every night, doing you right. You're the type of woman you are. Deserve good things. Fits full of diamonds. I'm broke, baby. <laughs> Handful of rings, baby, you a star. I just wanna show you you are. You should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. Ain't that much. Baby, good love and protection. That's what you need. Make me a selection. Your choice. Ha. Show you the way love is supposed to be. Baby, you should let me. <laughs> that should've been in my mind all day. Hey, Mario. Whole time. I like whole time. That was the last song I felt since TQ West Side Till I Die. Oh, gang, gang. You know what I'm saying? Like real shit. R&B. Why well, I dig these cards out? Why I'm asking the situation? Why get these cards out? TQ, West Side Till I Die. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, when I first heard that shit, I was a shorty. Like, that's, that's why I became a rapper, man. I just came into hip hop at a good time. You know what I'm saying? I call it the golden age of motherfucking hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Shiny suit. Shiny suit era. You know what I'm saying? In the West Side G Funk era. You know what I'm saying? That TQ, when I heard I seen that shit on. This RB nigga got me just. Like, I never felt hard on no R&B shit, but that's how music was, man. You could feel music back then, you know what I'm saying? You had good music. Like I said, the last of the good R&B from a man came from Mario. Written by Neo, You Should Let Me Love You. What the fuck I was just singing, Joe? Real shit. When the last time... Real shit, that's the last time I ever... That's the song, last song I ever felt dancing with a chick in the club. Like, real shit just like... In it, you know what I'm saying? Now you got like these hoes ain't loyal, goofy shit. Like even uh, I was watching Donnell Jones, who was popping back then, a good, nice R&B cat who should have had longevity in this motherfucking industry and business and shit, had left eye and that bitch shining. <sighs> you know what's up? That Donnell Jones and Left Eye peep how Left Eye was that whole video, nigga. You ain't seen a queen like that. On, on, G, on GD, you ain't seen a queen like Lisa Left by Lopez in that Say What, Say What video since that Say What, Say What video. Look how she was. That whole movie, she was just confident. Look what she was wearing and shit when she got to the hallway and just got the motherfucking Say What, Say What, Say What. Hey, she was on that shit. Nigga, I was just watching that not too long ago, Joe. Queen. You know what I'm saying? Queen. All natural. That's how I like them. <laughs> All natural. Aaliyah. Left eye. A. Marie. Maya. You know what I'm saying? Like, natural beauty. Dig what I'm saying? Jill Scott. Erica Badu. Lauren Hill. That light skinned chick from Groove Theory. Stiff as hell in that. Tell me what you want me to video. You know what I'm saying? Like, music. Now, what we got? As far as female. <laughs> Industry women, we got Megan the Stallion out here. Re re. Not disrespect to Rihanna, but re re. Fuck you saying, Nicki Minaj. Let me get this message. <laughs> World changing. I mean, you gotta change with it. Get your retro on. Let's get with the business. You know what I'm saying? First card in this reading. Knight of Cups. This is putting your whole heart into some shit, like people used to do with music and art. Seen some shit Nina Simone said. Nina Simone said, she said, as an artist, it's your job to express what's going on in the times at that time. LL Ascension, like, I'm, I'm really an artist at the end of the day. You know what I mean? And uh, am I not 
giving a, I don't know, a stamp of what the times is currently. There's some divine shit, Knight of, Knight of Cups, that's Knights, Queens, Kings, and Things, Divine Realms of Being. Clarifying this Knight of Cups, we got the Three of Cups. This is distraction. You know what I mean? This is two things. Something that's in the way of you and something else. Berries. This could be your children, parents, family, co-workers, staff. These are people who depend on you. Your Mother Earth, and these are the moons who are your satellites. And they're not going anywhere anytime soon unless something happens to where they're eradicated. That's a whole other story. Overall energy. You got to pick another card. If it's red, it's a warning. Queen of Swords. We're in the good. Queen of Swords. This is the Lucy Lou card. Being ten toes the fuck down on your mental direction. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. First step of any process is your thought process. You got to know where you want to go before you go. You don't want to just walk <laughs> before you even know where you're going or even feel about whatever you just thought about before you just got up and went anywhere. You know, it starts in the head. Once you figure out what you want to do mentally, then you're going to have to feel some type of way about what you're thinking. Okay? Can't just want to do something. You got to have passion for it. Otherwise, it ain't for you. You ever heard that term, doing what you love to do? Love, what's that? Emotion, cups, emotions and feelings. All emotions and feelings are, are just indicators on the mental direction you're going in. And the mental direct. oh my God, the mental direction you, the mental direction you want to go in to find masculine is the Lucy Lou route. Swords, thoughts, decisions, ideology, mentality, things of that sort. It's time to get serious about something. We doing shit one thing at a time because two things can't occupy the same space. So it's time to be down all the way down, 10 toes down on something. Let's continue. Bottom line, masculine, which is very important. We got the 10 of pentacles. It's all good. A plus. Okay. This is you and another person also coming together like butt cheeks. Or this is, I don't know, the walls caving in on you. The wall's caving in on you, but it's kind of like a good reason for the walls to cave in. It's like the energy of a groom that's about to get married who's having cold feet like a motherfucker. He's trying to escape. It's like all his groomsmen trap him. He's freaking out like Tate Diggs in the wood, you know, and, and, and that's his best men. That's what they're there for. The best men in this motherfucking life. They cornering him and are letting him know, hey, you and her, it's going to happen, buddy. You you already here. Y'all passed the fiance shit. Y'all already got your honeymoon booked. You really pretty much planned for the day after the day. Might as well get today over with. Smack him on his booty. Send his ass on. Okay? Clarifying all that, we got God here. King of Swords. It's God. Head honcho. The creator. The architect, master architect, my father, my father, your father too, but but our father, who art in heaven, how be thy name? Um, you know he's just overseeing, literally watching him watch this goodness right here. You know, I told you your twin flame demonstration was ordained by God and by masculine yourself, and you're out here. This is the final card of your reading, and it's yourself, and it's in a good. And this is you consciously too, so you're flamed on. You're burning on all cylinders, and like I said, usually when you're in this energy, you get the tendency to burn your feminine. We'll get to that later. Ain't nothing but good happening in your life, masculine. Just sit the fuck back and let it happen. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. <laughs> it's inevitable. Everything is inevitable. I told you, we live on Earth, which is a temporary space and time. And I told you, anything you can taste, touch, see, feel in here can go away. Take that with you. Come to this reading, masculine, and your mystery madness. We got the five of pentacles here. Subconscious or just random energy in your life. We got the five of pentacles. This is the dark night of the soul. Being asked out. All alone. Physically. All alone. This is due to lack of pentacles. Or due to lack of understanding of what pentacles are and what pentacles you have in your possession. 
This is like a little kid that just bitching about money. All he cares about is money. Okay, and he had 20 single dollar bills. It's like you take the 20 single dollar bills from the kid and you give him five fives. You know? <laughs> More money, right? $25. You took 20 from the kid and gave him 25. He's a kid. He don't give a fuck about none of that. All he want is 20 singles to throw around in the sky. You tell the kid that this is an investment. Number one, you're getting rid of all them singles and kind of diversifying it to five singular bills, which are worth five bucks each, I'm trying to turn you the value of money. And since you, I don't know, invested your 20 singles with me, you have interest <clears throat> in what you just attained. And you're trying to tell this to a, I don't know, five-year-old kid. He's going to rip them shits up. And demand you give him the motherfucking 20. Because in his head, it's 5, not 20. Let's put some more smoke on that. <laughs> it's 5, not 20. And it's a self-imposed prison. You know why it's a self-imposed prison? Because it's a prison they're going to have to get out. I'm pretty sure, I don't know, 5 years down the line from this experience this 5-year-old had. He'll know exactly what he had. Damn, I should have kept <laughs> that twenty-five dollars. I actually got over. I didn't know. You know Self-imposed prisons, they all drop. You're just gonna have to know you're in one and get out one. Moving on, mask, that's the subconscious. Masculine, you consciously. You're in the King of Pentacles energy. This is an owner car. This is really the magician. Um I'll call it like the magician card. The alchemist card this deals with pentacles this is being in a position to manifest whatever you want master manifester i.e. a owner because if you're manifesting shit you own it <laughs> it's like you're going out here creating monsters and shit if you create a monster you are the owner of that motherfucker you choose to let it run free like bebop and rock steady from fucking turtles and shit then you're this ownership for you. If your two fucking pit bulls go out and mutilate a baby and a chihuahua, you are gonna own up to the shit. That comes with the territory. Masculine, you're gonna own up to something. Ten of cups, you're gonna own up to some happiness. You got ten of pentacles, bottom line, which is very good. And you got the ten of cups, which is happiness or emotional fulfillment. This is something you're gonna have to own up to. Remember, God is watching all of this. Bottom line, this is very important. God is watching everything that's going on right now. We're making sure everything happens the way it needs to happen. No matter who kicking and screaming. Final card, two of wands, divine masculine. Here is your role. Wow. <laughs> I like this. Some, not all, hopefully mine. Divine masculine, y'all are finally going to find happiness and emotional, and emotional fulfillment. Why? Because you're finally going to find your fucking role in life. In life. Okay? Now, breaking that down, masculines. Union and reunion. Masculines, when you choose to finally get in union or finally get in reunion. You know? It's like... You're owning up to the shit. Your feminine knew this was going to happen. Okay? And it's happening. It wasn't nothing to really do but accept this twin flame situation. There's nothing left to do here but accept. That's how union happens. Acceptance. Accepting what this is. It's like a, a, a self-imposed prison, a mental prison. You got to know that you're in one and accept it. To get up out one. Acceptance is the key. It's truth. Truth sets you free. You got to admit you were wrong. You got to admit you didn't see the way until now. Play it off. It's like you were walking around with a booger on your fucking nose. Or, <laughs> you know, you're fly open all day and shit. You know what I mean? You weren't aware. Somebody tells you there's a booger in your nose. And somebody tells you to zip your fly and then it just happened to be in a time where there were people around and they happened to laugh at you no biggie and it's like you blow up over that like who fucking fault is it you didn't know 
your fly was down. Who fault is it? You didn't know you had a booger. You're supposed to be self-conscious and checking your shit anyway. Self-conscious. <sighs> Ain't nothing left to do but accept masculine. Your role is going to present itself. So what the hell you was looking for. And it's like you're happy, so just take the happiness. This is like, this is the best moment in your life. And the person who makes you the happiest in your life gives you a hug. And you're just like, mm. They're like, come on, don't be like that. And you're just, mm. Like, that's cute right now, but like, if you keep being on that, mm, shit, that shit gonna get old stinking booty. And then you're gonna not be appreciative of it. Even if you are, like, quit f flodging. No? Moving on to the feminine role. Divine feminine, um... Oh my God, divine masculine. You, in regards to the feminine energy, subconsciously, this deals with the women in your life, your divine feminine, the mother, daughters, sisters, nieces, a best friend. He could be she, she be he, you know how we rock him. <laughs> it's crazy. You got the full card. This is being in a whole new world like a Latin or just unaware of something. Put more smoke on that, masculine. What are you unaware of? Or feeling like you're in a whole new world like Aladdin about getting square. Once again, <laughs> six of pentacles. That's homeostasis. That's getting square. You know, that's being cool. It's like you didn't trust the person. Turns out you can trust them. You're cool now. You know where you stood with a particular situation or person. Turns out you're cool. Ten of pentacles. It's all good. You're square now. You know. This pertains to this, because this is subconscious. This is what happened consciously, okay? You're owning up to a situation, a situation, a demo that makes you emotionally content and or happy. Not because you finally to a cup, the person you finally been wanting to a cup for a while. It's just you finally found purpose in this too, which all comes with a twin flame demo situation. Um... You were lost, now you're found. And it's because of a feminine energy. Now, for some of y'all masculine still slow. When I say these things, it's your divine feminine we talking about. Not that karmic feminine or that uh, catalyst or that other divine feminine that you're trying to piece in your demo, your situation. Just wanted to say that. Let's get back to it. Consciously, you personally, consciously, in regards to the feminine energy masculine, we got the seven of cups. Pimp Cup Chronicles. Something inside of you that needs to come out. And you need to give it to the world. Because the world needs it. Whether it's yourself. It's like you're the only man that works in a prison. The number of women there for some reason. Given the location or whatever the fuck. It's a male prison with nothing but females in there. And they scared to death in that motherfucker. And you you just one of them, I don't know, the perfect man for the job. You walk up in there and women is just, oh my God, thank you so fucking much. We at least got a man here. Shit. Yeah, we need you on here, 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 here. This motherfucker here and this, he's aggressive and all that shit. I mean, you the man for the job. You, you know the saying, the right man for the job? It was a woman saying that shit. I'm saying shit. Deuce Poppy. Or a feminine. Because he could be a she. She could be a he. You know, he rocking. It was a woman, though. Nine times out of ten. Feminine on that other tenth. That said that shit. The right man for the job. Men and women are equal. But it's some jobs that a man need to do. Same reason why we make y'all walk in the inside of the street. Okay? That's a job. Full-time job, making sure you went inside the street, making sure you the door is open for you because you don't need to be touching the door. You was a lady pulling the chair out for you, you know. I'll put some over a puddle for you, but it ain't going to be the mean baby. <laughs> ain't going to be the mean baby. <laughs> it's like, that's what's supposed to happen. Because keeping it real, the origins of the whole man-woman rapport and shit... Oh, it was mighty different in the origins of this shit. Women, y'all were next to slaves and animal and property before this, 
you know, chivalry shit came in the past. That's why we have to keep that going and keep it alive. So we don't go back to savagery like the world going to right now. But I'm saying all that shit to say this masculine. You're needed in the world. You're needed for the kingdom. You're needed for your twin and you're needed for your damn self. What's more smoke on this? Ace of Swords. This is the loading chamber in the matrix. A for anything you need to succeed, survive, and thrive, which is already present for you. That's why God calls it the present, because it's a gift to be alive in the present, to take whatever you need. Anything you need in this world is already here for you. Say that shit two times. Anything you need in this world is already here for you. It was here for you when you were born. Whatever you needed, your whole entire life was already here and ready for you to receive before you even got here. And it's here. You're here, right? That's the gift. That's the present. God gave you that already. You know what I'm saying? Seek and ye shall find. How do you seek? By going up. Ace of Swords. This is thoughts. You're going up. It's ascension. What's ascension? It's what's up. Ascension is what's up. What's up? God is what's up. We're God. The King of Swords. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what's after this oh excuse me what's after this is God gets the final say so and then you repeat the process what do you repeat the process with by looking up what's up God is what's up <laughs> A for always I'll break that down later maybe I went over y'all head hey anything you need to succeed survive and thrive in life you have it already I'm saying just take advantage of it full advantage of it all right excuse the train moving on devil card is next give me a second lucky it's your subconscious masculine you get a pass from me masculine you in regards to yourself subconsciously we have the devil here like a <laughs> Yeah, this is the energy of oh, it's just all analogies and shit. Me as a young kid bored at church. I say I'm a church kid. Spent majority of my youth in church. Had to go. Damn near four to five days a week. Okay? Bible study on Tuesdays and motherfucking Friday. No, Bible studies on Tuesdays and motherfucking Thursdays. YPWW on Wednesday. Friday night service, choir rehearsal on Saturday, because I was I played the drums or the organ, depending on who was there or not. And I ain't nice with the organ. I could just play devotion. Just play the same keys. Like that's all I do. Like looking like I'm doing some shit. My grandpa used to do that shit. That's what he taught me. <laughs> Any rate, church, PGK life. Um, you know, it's me being a young guy. You know, in church. Church people, they the most craziest motherfuckers. Like, but the church, ha! <laughs> Preacher daughters and sons, they was the most buck. Like, so, you know, we was buck. Like I say, we, we we spiritual and we righteous and all that. But like I say, you know, we was getting high and, you know, sipping this shit and doing all kind of shit at young ages. Fucking all kind of shit at young ages. And a lot of shit, I'm gonna just put it like this, a lot of shit got done at church. This is that shit we was doing. <laughs> You know, not obviously not in the tabernacle during service. We talk about the shit that was done <laughs> under the message, under the, you know what I mean? I'm not, I see, you know what I'm saying? Inside of church. This ain't blasphemous. I mean, it might be, I don't know, like religion is division. This is a whole spiritual conversation we're having and I'm keeping it 100 with y'all. A lot of shit God did at church by myself and others. We still spiritual powerhouses out here. We were just young and dumb. Young, young, dumb, and full of cum. There was a lot of sex getting made in the basements of churches. A lot of juicing. Not this uh, crazy ass molestation fucking pedophilia bullshit. We just talking about natural hormonal, you know, juicing. You know what I mean by juicing? Like humping. You know, kids is learning and humping each other and in places they can hump away from parents. Playing truth, dare, double dare, promise to repeat a dirty mama. 
But I used to love Truth Dare, Double Dare, Promise of Repeat, Peter, Dirty Mama. In the, in the church basement. Church basement. Man. So I got some of the best kisses as a kid. Some of the... Nigga! Shit that got me ready for life. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, I'm saying all that shit to say this. Yeah, the devil be present. But like I say, we going up at the end of the day. This shit is definitely done in the dark. This shit definitely done under the sea. Just showing a little reverence to it. That's what the devil card is here for. Once again, last time the devil came out, he said hi. This time devil coming out, he's saying hi again. It's like a hi. <laughs> It's the energy I'm feeling like a hi. <laughs> like I'm here. If anybody need me, <laughs> that's how the devil be. He ain't shit. He has no motherfucking power until you give him some. And I ain't giving him no juice with this card. This is just a, a tool. It's, it's like if this was a tool machinery, this would be the hoe. Ho ass nigga. That'd be the hoe. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got the axe, you got the shovel and shit. Devil card, this would be the hoe. I'm talking about. It's just a hope. Just a tool in my in my in my process. Nothing nothing more than that as far as the devil energy. But yeah, the devil is just saying hi masculine. I told you the devil is your best friend. And it's like your best friend checking in on you. <laughs> is your masculine is, is the DM in? <laughs> is your DM in? It's like no, he's not in. Um You know what time he's gonna be back? Like, no, I don't know what time he's gonna be back, but I'll let you know he stopped by. Okay, thank you. And you know the devil goes skipping off. Cause his friend ain't home. <laughs> that type of demo. But in this situation, the DM is at home. Mom know that kid ain't no good, and he's just chilling in his room doing what the fuck he need to do. Divine feminine, your mommy. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, uh, masculine. You personally, in regards to yourself, consciously in regards to yourself, you know you need grooming, boy, gal. You need grooming. You need grooming from the only person that can get like real shit. I don't even I don't even see no more with this energy right here. Just carried on from last week. Divine masculine, you know you need your divine feminine more than anything. We ain't talking about help, financial help. Let's take money, finances out the fucking window. I want y'all to take that shit out the window. I want y'all to take also romance, sex, all that physical shit out the motherfucking window. Let's just talk about actions, purpose right now. Let's talk about purpose and actions. Behavior and movement things that's currently being done. But let's talk about pinnacles right now The fact that you are right here physically right here feminine your masculine physically right here And y'all here physically together for a freaking purpose that God himself Help y'all establish Fuck what everybody else be talking about you divine masculine and your divine feminine y'all set this shit up with God Before this shit even happened. This is y'all demo not probably not the demo y'all wanted. Not saying God fucked you. Or God gave you a crazy deal, but God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> and then my twin flame being a motherfucking masculine. Like my twin flame being another guy. And then like 29, 30 years older than me at that fact, it's a divine reflection right there. That's a that's a reflection from God. Like it's tailor-made for me. You know what I'm saying? Like they say, uh, God don't give you, God doesn't give you more than you can bear. No, that's a fact. At least in my case. I can't speak for y'all. I don't know what type of God y'all serve. My God, good. He, he, my God's a healer. My God's a, a miracle worker. He's still uh, appearing in burning bushes and splitting red seas about this motherfucker. My God is a good God. Always been good. Even when I ain't been good. You know what I'm saying? That's God I serve. He does magic. He does wonders. That's why most of y'all don't believe in God because whoever God y'all serve ain't doing nothing for you. And the, and the devil don't do shit for you. And that's probably who y'all fucking with. Moving on. Masculine, you need grooming. Why? Because you've been dancing with the devil so long. Like I said, you like a man that needs to give his life to God. It's like you need to get saved. I've been saved a few times. <laughs> I've been baptized. 13... And I've been saved a few times. I've been in the spirit, felt the spirit, shouted, spoken tongue, of all that. And I was in church, came from the church. So that's why I knew how to do all that. Okay? It's in you. It's in you. Speaking of in you, masculine, going to the future, it's going to be in you to put a passion into something. 
This is subconsciously too. Something you know you need to end. That's why it's subconscious. Eating your mind up like uh <laughs> eating your mind up like I can't even find a, a metaphor for that. Let me keep cracking. Let's smoke on that. Nine of Pentacles. You know you need to put a passion into something because you're in a position to finally get good. What does getting good mean? Ten of Pentacles at main. What does getting good mean? That means you and another person coming together like butt cheeks. Or you and something coming together like butt cheeks. Could be God. Could be your divine feminine. Could be a few things. But everything is lined up for you. Nine of Pentacles. Everything is lined up for you. All you have to do is end something. Why? So you can begin something. What are tens? Tens are the end of karmic phases. The karmic cycle go from ace to ten in my book. Knights, queens, kings, and things, those are divine realms for divine people. Divine realms for divine people. These are two divine people in this realm. Shit only gets lined up in this realm like this for divine people. Karmics can share this experience. <laughs> You know what I mean? But it's just what karmics do with it that make them karmics. You divine. It's what you do with it that make you divine. You're about to enter the gates of heaven. Zion. Four wands. Which is also a union, reunion, and recognition in my book. Masculine. Drop whatever you gotta drop like a hot potato. <sighs> Tell whoever this person, place, or thing is to see you later. And like now and later, savor your flavor. So you can get out of here, out of these streets, man, for making capers. You know what I'm saying? Because the final card in your message, you got yourself. You are the fine masculine. It's 28% of these in the world. 20%, 28%, I mean, excuse me. 7 percent of the world is karmics. We don't need to differentiate uh, karmic masculines from karmic feminists because they all in the same boat. It don't even matter. They all zombies try not to get bit. The zombies, 28% of the world are the walking dead. We walk around this motherfucker, but it's like I say, it's like we dead. <laughs> like all we walk around are dead people, and it's like we walk around like dead people. We even put blood on our shit, and even are the walking dead just to get to another fucking place of substance before we die. You know what I mean? It's like the walking time walking dead is for everybody. The zombies and the motherfucking living. Like, we're really not that close. Oh, that's a whole other conversation. I'll say that for next reading. Wrapping this up. It's only a few of y'all out here. Okay? You gotta represent. You gotta represent. You can, like I say, it's something I see in common with majority of the divine masculines out here, even the ones who are watching this shit. The so-called divine masculines, y'all the ones who are watching this shit, this shit get hella clicks. Some of y'all are divine feminines, okay? Y'all just whatever. I don't know what appeal this divine masculine shit has for a feminine to want to be masculine other than this devil energy that's attached to it. That's a whole nother story in my book. I don't worry about it. Um, you, you shining. So use your light to motherfucking shed light to the places that's in the darkness. Don't turn your light off just to not be seen. Just to mingle in the darkness. I don't understand it. Why I'm asking. It's something about the world. That just draws you on in. And pulls you on in. But guess what? You divine at the end of the day. You might not like your twin flame situation. But it is your twin flame situation. Eventually you're going to pick it up. Why? Because God is going to make sure you do it. This is motherfucker you need to be worried about. Not what your twin think. Because... Uh, according to you, you don't give a fuck what she think anyway. Because you obviously don't give a fuck what your feminine think because you keep, you, you got your feminine fucked up a lot. Like, you really got your feminine fucked up. So either A, you don't know her, he can be a she, she can be a he, you know how we rock it, or you don't want to. 
You don't know your feminine or you don't want to. Either or, that shit going to get readjusted by this energy right here. Whether it's good, bad, or ugly, it's going to happen. It's just like a little kid testing his mom, an inmate testing a guard, a fucking monkey fighting a lion. Y'all going to learn one day. Hopefully it doesn't have to be, I don't know, detrimental for you to get the message. And that's the message that I got. I hope I can be of good use. It's your boy D. Boom. Stay tuned for the next message. Deuces.